Approximately 80% of child injuries occur in or around the home while at play. These injuries and accidents can be prevented and the Woolworths Trust and ChildSafe are working to increase awareness. As a proud dad, I'm always on the lookout for potential danger to make sure that I can keep my boys safe. But let's be honest, as parents, we worry too much because everything is dangerous. But what about those hazards that we are not aware of? For instance, when it comes to our children's toys, even their clothing. Well, I've come to see for myself what safety precautions are taken into account when you manufacture children's clothing so that we make sure to keep our youngsters safe. 10 South African children die each day from preventable accidents and it's through partnerships and keeping safety in mind that we can help keep children from harm. Zinzi, I know that Woolworths puts a large focus on child safety, helping to you know, lighten the burden on parents' shoulders. Tell me a bit about the partnership between Woolworths and Child Safe. What we've done is we've worked with Child Safe to really understand how can we extend this to the communities as a Woolworths Trust. And we've uh, looked at prevention of child vulnerability as a key aspect of our Woolworths Trust strategy. And therefore, we've uh, gone out with awareness on what really are the most top causes of injuries for children and, and what parents should prevent things like, you know, pedestrian crossing, uh, battling up, looking at also pool safety at home and some aspects of child safety in the home. So for us as a trust, it's very, very exciting to know that we can extend this to the communities and really create the awareness of how our children can be vulnerable in our own homes. Woolworths places the safety of their kids' wear in the capable hands of Sean Gimmingham, who ensures that the strictest safety standards are applied to all clothing. Sean, as parents, we worry every single day, and there's so many dangers out there, but I think some of the dangers we overlook, for instance, clothing. How do you ensure that children's clothing is safe? We go to great lengths to make sure that our children's clothes are safe. Uh, we make sure that during the manufacturing process there are certain interventions that we do to keep the product safe and then we do certain things to ensure that the intrinsics of the product are safe. In the manufacturing process the sewing machine needles work at a very high speed, three and a half thousand revs a minute and what can happen from time to time is that some of these needles break. So we have a system whereby every piece of the needle has to be collected before the operator gets issued with the new needle and every piece has to be accounted for. And then as an additional check, we actually put the garments through a metal detector which will stop basically if there's a piece of contaminated metal in the garment anywhere. From a product point of view, um, we've identified that visibility is a key issue in uh, accident prevention. So, we have built reflective tapes into a lot of our products. So for example, our school raincoats, our school bags and our school shoes all have reflective tape to try and make the children as visible as possible. Uh, in addition to that, we have uh, clear guidelines in terms of we don't allow the length of certain cords to be longer than a certain length because if they're too long, there's a risk that the children could get this caught on a slide while they're going down a slide or if, for example, on a pant, it might get caught in the spokes of a bicycle wheel, etc. So we keep these short, and not only that, we tack them in the middle as well, so that the one end can't come out completely and get too long. Sean, I can definitely see that there's a lot of thought that goes into the manufacturing of children's clothing. But what about toys? We overlook them sometimes as well. We do extensive testing on the toy itself. So we test for the physical properties, we make sure that the parts don't come loose, we make sure there's no sharp parts or protruding parts, we make sure that the arms and the legs don't come off easily, we look at the filling inside the toy itself yeah. and we assess all of those things before we will approve a particular toy. Every parent just wants the best for their child, and I'm no different, but it is reassuring to know that there are retailers and foundations out there focusing heavily on child safety, which in turn helps me to become a better parent. And that's my main aim, to be the best dad in the whole wide world. I am the best dad, right? Yes? Best dad? High five? Tch, like it. <laughs> it's everyone's responsibility to protect our young ones. As Nelson Mandela said, there can be no keener revelation of a society's soul than the way in which